guys, so today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and many of you know that I've been traveling a lot lately so I thought that a travel makeup tutorial would be really fun to show you guys the kind of makeup I do when I'm not in my normal environment and I'm moving around and I don't have a lot of space in my suitcase. I went to Europe for two weeks with my family and now I'm in New York so I thought that a travel makeup tutorial would be really fun to show you guys and it is a little bit different than what I would do at home. I'm not wearing fake lashes or anything really intensive because I do want it to be quick and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm starting off with my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm using a flat foundation brush to pat this into my skin, adding a little bit more product at a time to build up the coverage without it getting cakey. This foundation is great because it has a nice finish that doesn't require a setting powder if your skin is a little bit drier like mine, which makes it a really nice one-step product. Next, I'm using some Urban Decay Primer Potion as an eyeshadow base to help my colors last all day without creasing. This is definitely my favorite eyeshadow primer. I find that it works really, really well. For my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. I'm using short strokes here to imitate actual brow hairs, and I'm working my way down to the end of my brow. I'm also going to extend my brow out a little bit since mine is a little on the short side and I'm using the brush on the opposite end of the pencil to help blend the pencil into my hair and make it look as natural as possible. As you can see, this makes a big difference compared to my other brow. All of the eyeshadows I'm going to use are from this little palette from Sephora in the color Pale to Rich Taupe. This palette has been a lifesaver with traveling because it's so little that it doesn't take up much space in my suitcase, but it has great colors for an everyday look. I'm using the second to lightest color all over my lid and the middle color in the crease, blending it out with the fluffy brush in window wiper motions back and forth. And I'm going to add a little bit of the darkest color in the outer corner. And as you can see, I'm forming a little sideways V shape on the corner of my eye. And then I'm just gonna blend it out so it doesn't look harsh, but I wanna keep the shape because that's what's going to make it look a little smoky. Here I'm using my Sephora eye pencil in pure white to highlight underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner. I'm just using my fingers to blend it out. Next I'm using my favorite liner pen ever, ever, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner Pen. This stuff is amazing and it's pretty easy to use as well. I'm forming an exaggerated cat eye by following my bottom lash line out towards the end of my brow, and then I'm connecting it to the top lash line and filling it in so that it forms the cat look. The mascara I picked for this look is the Marc Jacobs Lash Lifter Gel Mascara, and I'm going to layer on a few coats to get it nice and thick. I'm going to skip false lashes today because this look is meant to be a quicker version of a full faced look for when you can't be bothered to do all of the steps but you still want to look really polished on vacation. But using a good mascara is really going to help make up for it. I'm done with my eyes so I'm going to try to cover up some of my dark circles with my Hourglass Hidden Pearl Concealer. I'm just using my fingers to blend this in underneath my eyes and also anywhere else on my face that I feel needs a little extra coverage. The blush I'm using is NARS Deep Throat, and I'm using an angled brush to help apply the color to the apples of my cheeks. The shape of this brush is actually going to help pull the color back towards my hairline flawlessly, which helps the color blend and look really natural. This color is also really, really pretty. It gives the perfect flush, and it works for almost every single skin tone. I'm using my foundation brush to pat around the edges of the blush to help blend it in, and this helps to give you a really radiant, lit from within look. To add a little glow, I'm using Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light and the Sephora 53 brush. This brush is a unique shape that's perfect for highlighter and bronzer, and I'm applying this highlighter on the top of my cheekbones and also across my face where the light would naturally hit it. For my lips, I'm using Bite Beauty's High Pigment Pencil in the color Madeira. I feel like this is a really perfect shade of nude, and on top of that, the texture and consistency of this product is amazing. It's really glossy and pigmented and has quickly become one of my favorite products of the summer. As you can see, this color is really pretty on its own, but I do like layering YSL Volup Sheer Candy in number five on top, which is a berry balm that works really beautifully with the texture of this product and just bumps the color up just a little bit. 
So that's my look. This is what I've been wearing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys later. Bye.